What is the gospel? Such a simple question, but I think the answer might seem complicated. Because it's not uncommon to hear phrases like, well, is that the social gospel or the prosperity gospel, or do you even mean the sincerity gospel? So are there many gospels that we should embrace, or is there just one gospel? Well, the Apostle Paul makes it very clear. I mean, look at what Paul writes in Galatians 1. I am astonished that you are so quickly deserting him who called you in the grace of Christ and are turning to a different gospel. Not that there is another gospel, but there are some who trouble you and want to distort the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach to you a gospel contrary, contrary to the one we preach to you, let him be accursed. As we have said before, so now I say again, if anyone is preaching to you a gospel contrary to the one you received, let him be accursed. For am I now seeking the approval of man or of God? Or am I trying to please man? If I were still trying to please man, I would not be a servant of Christ. Paul addresses this idea of many gospels. So is there a prosperity gospel? Is there a social gospel? Are there just a whole lot of gospels that you should grab onto? No, Paul says. He says, I am shocked that you would ditch the one true gospel and embrace one that feels better for you. Why on earth would you do this? That's what Paul is saying. Because it pleases you or it is for the approval of man? So no, there isn't one of many gospels. There is only one true gospel. What is this true gospel? Well, the essence of the true gospel is actually found in 1 Corinthians 15. Paul says this, Now, I would remind you, brothers, of the gospel I preached to you, which you received, in which you stand, and by which you are being saved. If you hold fast to the word I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. For I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received. And here it is, this is the gospel, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. That is the true gospel. The true gospel is that Christ died for us. He was buried and was brought back to life. Are there many gospels? No, there is only one true gospel.